Here are some problems from section 3.3 .3 in our calculus books. Um, in problem number seven, we're asked to find the horizontal tangents. Horizontal tangents to each of these curves. And the curve in problem number seven is y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1, or plus x plus 1. And to do this problem, I'm going to remind ourselves that horizontal tangents occur when the derivative is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and take, let's take the derivative of both sides of this equation. Uh, the derivative of y is dy dx. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared minus 2 times 2x to the first plus 1 and then the derivative of the, the one term is 0 and that's equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Now when does this equal 0? When does that equal to zero? Well, let's see if we can find a simple factorization for it. Um, because if it can be factored, that would be easiest. If it can't be factored, then uh, we'll go to quadratic and we'll find a, a, a harder, uh, a, I'll, we'll find the solution that way. Uh, if it factors, it's going to factor as uh, uh, 3x and x. And now I need something that multiplies to get one, two numbers that multiply, and then when I take in the threes, I also get a four. So what I think is going to be is a negative one here and a negative one there. If that's the case, I get three, three x squared. There's good. Negative three minus or plus another negative one x, which is my four, and then a positive one there. So it looks like x uh, equals one third and x is equal to one are the two places where um, this curve have horizontal tangents. In problem number nine, we're given that y is equal to x to the fourth minus, I'm sorry, minus 4x squared plus 1 is our curve. And again, if we're going to find the horizontal tangent, tangents, we are finding where is dy dx equal to 0. So let's take the derivative of both sides of the equation. And the derivative of y is dy dx. The derivative of this is going to be 4x cubed minus 4 times 2 x to the first. When I take the derivative of 1, I get 0. So that's 4x cubed minus 8x. So when is 4x cubed minus 8x equal to 0? Well, to take this, uh, to try to solve this, I think I'll factor out a 4 and an x out of these two terms. And I'm left with x squared minus 2. And so that means 4x. And then if I can factor this, which I can, uh, it ends up being x. Uh, minus the square root of 2 and x plus the square root of 2 is equal to 0. So it looks like there's going to be horizontal tangents at x equals 0 and x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. Now if you didn't, if you can't see that factorization easily you may also have taken and said oh this step splits into 4x is equal to 0 and x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. And following this along, I could say x squared is equal to 2, and therefore uh, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Either way, I get to the, I get to the same ending spot. Let's take a look at problem number 11. In problem number 11, I have y is equal to 5x cubed minus 3x to the fifth. And again, the question is, where are the horizontal tangents? And they are where dy dx, the derivative, is equal to 0. So when I take the derivative of y, 
with respect to x, I get dy dx. When I take the derivative of this with respect to x, I'm going to get 15x squared minus 15x to the fourth. So when is 15x squared minus 15x to the fourth equal to zero? Uh, both of these terms have a 15, both of them have x squared, so I end up with 1 when I factor that out from the first term, and I end up with an x squared when I factor it out the second term. 15x squared equals 0 gives me a set of solutions, and also 1 minus x squared equals 0 gives me a set of solutions. This leads to x equals 0, this leads to 1 is equal to x squared, so therefore x is equal to plus or minus 1. And so those are the locations of the horizontal tangents for, uh, for that problem.